Mimi nilikuwa nikiwa primary school. Nikiwa high school. Nilikuwa nakuwa nikisema when I grow up I want to be like Boni Halwale. Lakini nimesha grow up nimegundua Boni Halwale ndio mtu bure kabisa. Kwa sababu wewe daktari wewe kiongozi ambaye umekuwa kwa bunge miaka ishirini. wewe uko na bibi wanne. lakini ikifika saa ya sapa unaacha nyumba yako unaenda kwa nyumba ya mwanaume mwingine unaenda kukula sapa huko i want to remind all members of parliament ambao wamezoea kuenda kule sugoi kupanga laini kwa William Ruto we want to tell them their days are numbered ya kwamba sisi jamii ya waluya we have no we have no any reason to work with William Ruto kwa sababu si hati atupendi William Ruto ni kwa sababu sisi tunajua sasa hivi Kenya tumesema kwamba tunapigana na ufisadi we do not want a president yule rais ambaye ataingia central bank abebe bank kwa mgongo akimbie na yosugoi we are not supporting william ruto because of his integrity that is the reason na juzi mimi naunga mkono rais wa jamhuri ya kenya yeye ametoa line up yake mzuri akasema number one in kenya Tuko na number 1A na number 1B. Number 1A Uhuru Kenyatta. Number 1B Raila Amolo Odinga. Number 3 anaitwa Matiangi. Number 4 anaitwa Ali Hassan Joho. Number 5 anaitwa Cleophas Malala. Alafu number 6 ndio William Ruto. Hiyo line up president alitoa sasa ningependa kuambia wale wabunge kila saa wanaenda sugoi wanasema wanaenda kuleta maendeleo Western Province. Sasa hivi tunajua ukitaka maendeleo enda kisi kwa Matiang. Na Matiang yako na asari ukienda uko anapiga risasi. Sasa mambo ya kuenda kuomba maendeleo kwa mtu ambaye hana pesa tumesema tufanye nini? Tuwatch. Mimi naunga mkono Maswala ya building bridges ni lazima tuwe pamoja kama Kenya. Lakini juzi jana nimekuwa disappointed kidogo. Nimeona tumeenda kuwa na conference ya corruption, anti-corruption conference kule Bomas of Kenya. Hiyo conference mimi naunga mkono kwa sababu tunapigana na ufisadi. Lakini ile kitu ambayo mimi sikubaliani na hiyo conference ya kwamba unaita conference tena unaita wale watu ambao wanaiba pesa yetu tena wakuje wa address your conference next time kabla mwalike watu wakuja kuongea kwa your conference you must vet those people kuna watu hawana integrity hata kidogo